Russia has recently attacked Ukraine and many of us are not aware why it happened. Uh, it's very important to understand that Ukraine was once part of Soviet Union and in fact in 1922 Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic was the founding member of Soviet Union. The history of which is now known as Ukraine dates back to 32000 BC. It was ruled by various powers throughout history but in mid 11th century it was the most richest and uh, one of the very important areas in Europe. From Mongols to Ottomans and then becoming the part of Soviet Union, Ukraine has experienced a lot of history. Uh, Ukraine has seen the horrible rule of Romanovs in the Russia um, and also witnessed the spoils of world wars as well. After the fall of Soviet Union in 1991, Ukraine did, uh, declared independence and maintained ties with both Russia and partnership with NATO. This partnership with NATO does not mean that it was part of NATO but uh, it is a program to develop trust between European countries and NATO. Uh, Ukraine also agreed for denuclearization uh, by dismantling and removing all strategic bombers. Uh, Ukraine inherited the third biggest nuclear stockpile in the world at the time of independence. Interesting fact is that uh, this agreement was reached in exchange of guarantees from countries like America and Russia that the sovereignty of Ukraine will be respected. Um, even after splitting from Russia, there were people who, deli- uh, who believed that Ukraine should take sides with Russia and not with Europe. Um, and similarly, there were some who thought otherwise. In 2004, uh, Viktor uh, Yanukovych was the prime minister and won elections that was later declared rigged by the uh, judiciary. The opposition leader Viktor uh, Shevchenko gathered a lot of support but fell seriously ill uh, during the campaign and it was later diagnosed that he was being poisoned. Uh, Russian involvement was suspected and as a result of the public outcry in Ukraine, which is known as Orange Revolution, uh, Shevchenko became the uh, Prime Minister and came in power. In 2013, uh, when Viktor Yanukovych was in power, he discontinued ties with Europe and decided to take sides with Russia because he is uh, pro-Russian as always and he suspended Ukrainian-European uh, Union Association Agreement. This led to mass protest in uh, the country and that started from Kyiv uh, and is known as uh, Eurobadian. As a result of that, uh, Viktor was overthrown and it clearly meant that Ukraine does not want to take side with Russia alone. Um, since Ukraine is one of the largest European countries and also surrounded by ex-Soviet nations, uh, Russia always wanted to have a decent amount of influence among them. Uh, Ukraine is also very much imp- uh, have very much uh, Ukraine is of very much importance to Russia because uh, it serves as a buffer zone for Russia against NATO. Uh, Russian access to Black Sea also borders with Ukraine. Therefore, Putin wanted to secure a permanent position for Russia, Russian trade and security. By Ukraine joining the NATO, the sovereignty and security of Russia could be compromised. Uh, therefore, overthrow of Victor laid the foundation uh, of annexation of Crimea. Tension between these two countries remained high after 2014 and they used mercenaries to fight in Ukrainian regions. Uh, among other uh, mercenaries, there were local Ukrainian people as well who took arms to defend their countries. Before Russia waged the war on Ukraine, uh, the Russian forces were, ga- were gathering up in the, uh, around the Ukrainian border and the Russian government claimed that it is nothing more than an annual military drill and the US was consistently issuing war- warnings. Uh, however, experts believe that a uh, full-scale invasion of Ukraine is not possible. Even the Ukrainian government also believed that Moscow will not wage a full-scale war. But US was uh, of the point of view that a full-scale invasion is possible and probable. Many experts even believe that uh, the chances of Ukraine joining NATO were thin and uh, Europe wouldn't want that. However, suddenly Putin gave a statement that NATO has crossed a red line and ordered troops to attack Ukraine from multiple fronts. Uh, They even used Belarus to uh, Belarusian uh, border to attack because uh, Belarus is also um, pro-Russian. So uh, they gave land access to the Russian forces and uh, it was very difficult for Ukraine to defend their sovereignty from so many fronts. Now that Russia has attacked Ukraine, we are witnessing that foreign mercenaries are joining the war as well. And not only that, but Ukrainian people have once again took arms to defend their homeland. Some 20,000 rifles were distributed among local people and they were taught to throw flammable liquid bottles on Russian vehicles. Uh, International communities imposing sanctions on Russia and even their membership from uh, SWIFT has been revoked. Uh, SWIFT is the uh, the, uh, means of communication which banks used uh, for the transfer of uh, funds. Bent crude oil is also soaring every day as a result of this war. Uh, Germany called off their gas pipeline with Russia um, because, because Europe purchases a large chunk of their gas from Russian sources, therefore imposing sanctions of det- uh, and deteriorating relations with Russia could sabotage the energy supply in Europe as well in the future. However, um, uh, interestingly, 
according to an article uh, europe is paying russia 1 billion dollar every day for the oil and gas uh, even in the presence of these sanctions the public sentiments are mostly in favor of ukraine uh, even in russia people gathered a uh, mass protest in the saint petersburg uh, and um, against the government and same hap- happened in other parts of europe like germany uh, countries that offered help to ukraine are mostly supplying weapons uh, poland accepted a large number of migrants because uh, uh, it was the only safe border um, the, uh, for the ukraine uh, but this can only provide a temporary support although it is on it is an ongoing situation which is rapidly changing this could all come to an end if us issues a single statement that ukraine will not join nato uh, but since this, that will sabotage their strategic locations against russia they will never take this line as ukraine will continue to burn even if this war ends today the mercenaries that are fighting for 5 6 years will not fit anywhere um, it is clear that ukraine is just a battleground where russia is trying to establish their military might and also warning other ex soviet nations to refrain from joining nato um it is also damaging the us because it seems like white house isn't helping ukraine the way they were talking before the war although both countries are engaging in dialogue now uh, but ukrainian government says that they uh, don't have any hope uh, that will be fruitful because same negotiation were initiated before this war uh, and uh, when the tensions were high but it couldn't reach any solution god forbid if nato joins the war at some point uh, this could turn into a world war Uh, the only peaceful solution is to force Russia to call their troops back and end this madness at once. But it seems like war mongers in US and Russia have the upper hand at the moment, and uh, this war might continue.